Here we are, 9 at night, in the middle of a massive cold front, the power out, sanding. 8 solid oak tabletops due to be delivered tomorrow morning. <laughs> oh wait, I should probably start at the beginning. I received a commission from a local insurance company, not a difficult project at all, except for the fact that the client wanted it done really quickly. Usually I will choose my own wood, but with this deadline I just got my local lumberyard to send some over. The guys fast tracked the order and delivered while I was out. Thanks guys! But it turned out that most of the wood was just a little bit bent. It had to be sent back, meaning that I lost two production days. Lesson number one in the bag. I started cleaning the usable lumber. All was going well and I was making up for lost time. Then the little thicknesser gave an almighty screech and BAM! The drive belt disintegrated. It was getting late. Everyone was closing shop. A replacement would have to wait until the morning. Lesson number two duly noted. With the thickness of back in action, I tried to make up the time again. I borrowed a biscuit machine to help with the assembly. It had an electrical fault. More time lost fixing the thing. Lesson number... Uh, oh yeah, three. Despite using the biscuit machine, the bent boards would not do up flush. That meant planing and sanding. A lot of it. This is a big lesson, but at this stage, I'm just going to refer back to lesson number one, and carry on. After sanding and long after dark, it was time to chamfer the edges. Guess what? My chamfer bit just happens to all of a sudden have a large chip in one of the blades. I needed to get a new one in the morning. Lesson four, check your tools during supplier operating hours. Alright, time for finishing. Usually I would just spray a top coat, but a huge cold front had moved in, meaning it was too windy to spray outside. Also the shop was way too dirty to spray inside. My solution was to use a water-based polyurethane top coat. They said it didn't need sanding in between coats, and it was supposed to dry pretty fast. Have you guessed it? Yep, there's a lesson to be learned here. Don't try new methods or products when you're under huge time constraints stick with what you know. It turned out I did have to sand in between coats, but the poly did dry super fast. And that, dear viewers, is where you found us in the beginning. Nine at night, in the middle of a massive cold front, power out, sanding. Eight solid oak tabletops due to be delivered in the morning, which, of course, we did. Except I obviously forgot to take any photos of the final fitted product. I'm sure there's a lesson there for anyone who's still bothered to count. Hope you enjoyed, and remember, hit those share, like and subscribe buttons.